right, it's uh, 7.15, so we'll call the meeting to order. So this is a hearing on the, uh, the Brett Group. Contract pur purchaser of property, map 10D, lots 23C and D, formerly part of the Amherst Motel, seeks a finding to alter, extend a pre-existing non-conforming accessory use, a swimming pool to a new parking lot and various attendant structures. Perfect. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. I'm Tom Reedy, I'm an attorney with Bacon Wilson over in Amherst here on behalf of Breck Group uh, for the finding uh, of the alteration and extension of that pre-existing non-conforming accessory residential use. With me this evening from the Breck Group, Todd Gaines. Um, so hopefully short and somewhat sweet, I'm going to uh, show you the plan. So a little bit of background, we were approved by the planning board um, in 2017, September 19th, I believe for commercial parking lot and access over something other than our lawful frontage. And so, let me show each of you over here. What that plan looks like. And so you'll see that in the top half, that's there's a, a property line that runs right along there. This is in Hadley, so that top part is in Hadley. And this is in Amherst, so that's the east side, this is the west side. Uh, we received that approval from the planning board for that commercial parking lot. We also received from the town of Amherst an approval for the actual residential use. So currently it's the Amherst Motel site. It's going to go through a redevelopment. Um, ultimately, 88 units, 195 uh, beds. Uh, we've been through the Amherst Zoning Board of Appeals twice for that approval. Um, and so after we received all the approvals, there's a neighbors at Green Leaves who appealed. And as part of the settlement agreement, we've got to essentially modify it so we're not going to use it for a commercial use anymore. And so the parking area is really an accessory residential use. So what we're looking to do is to alter that swimming pool, which was an accessory residential use to the former motel and apartment site. We're changing that essentially to a parking area with their stormwater infrastructure underneath. There's going to be a dog run in the furthest east corner. And then there's a trash enclosure. So there's also some landscaping there, et cetera. So um, I've got copies of the old bylaw showing that residential uses were previously allowed in that uh, zoning district. It was when your zoning bylaw was like that <coughs> waterfall, if you recall. So it said like, Residential uses, here's everything, or cultural residential, everything that was allowed in residential is allowed in AR. And then you start to go down business, everything that came before it. And so that was, that was only changed relatively recently. This has been in existence as such since at least 1967, if not sooner. So you see this is a, from the Amherst GIS system, and it shows that that swimming pool was there um, prior to any change in the bylaw. And so essentially what we're looking for is a finding that we can alter or extend this pre-existing non-conforming use in accordance with those plans. Um, obviously happy to answer any questions. The swimming pool is where the, this, where this dog run? No, the swimming pool is right here, right now. So we're just extending it. So that's, let's see if you line it up. It's right there. This is the balance of the site over here. So we're just extending everything into the parking area. Just a kind of a different avenue to get to the same place that we were when the planning board approved it, but just eliminating that commercial aspect of the use and just keeping it residential, which I think. So makes the bituminous a lot more sense. here showed is green leaves. That is green leaves. Correct. Okay. Okay. Yes. And you'll see that's with this. This is the old map. So where the access came off was not where it comes off today. Mm -hmm. Now it's in Amherst, and so that's why we needed the access over something other than our lot frontage, because the only access is over the side lot line in Hadley. That Hadley piece doesn't actually have any frontage. The, the swimming pool is a commercial. Com I'm not following this part. It's okay. So it's uh, residential use. Yeah. So what, what's commercial? What's being changed? Or just that it's currently a motel? So yeah, so what we're looking to do, and the Amherst portion really doesn't matter here, but what we're looking to do there is change it from apartments and motel to just apartments. But the point about the commercial piece is we had originally gone through the process with Hadley Planning Board to have the parking area be considered a commercial use. 
which we're abandoning and we're no longer going to try to use it as a commercial use because it's linked up with this residential use, which is the motel. So that was, that was the only mention about commercial was because that's what the planning board had done, but we're not using that and that's why we're here in front of you. Hopefully that was a little more clear. No, I'm terrible, so, aren't I? No, no. <laughs> so, the, so, the sw so the swimming pool is a non is a non-conforming accessory at the moment. Correct. And we are looking to how, alter that to how, another. In what, in what way is a swimming pool non-conforming? Residential uses are not allowed on in that business zone. So the Hadley zone is <clears throat> business. Okay. Okay, so it's the use of that area as a, as a swimming pool is a residential use. Okay. And I've taken some liberty in drafting a blank decision for signatures. I didn't know who was going to be here. I tried to mimic what we had done on 303 Russell Street. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you'd like to take a look, and I tried to lay it out as you did there, um, uh, with how you got to the, how it's pre-existing, non-conforming, why the bylaw prevents it, that it had existed before, and how what we're looking to do is not substantially more detrimental to the neighborhood than the existing non-conforming use. I have a question. Sure. Um, so the swimming pool basically is going to disappear. Correct. Okay. Because the wording here, and it may not be your wording, it may be our wording, but it says uh, alter, blah, 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 a swimming pool to a new parking lot and various attendant structures. So the end, I'm wondering, are you building additional structures? Are structures being uh, eliminated? What's the story there? So it is going to, the swimming pool is turning into a parking lot. And then by attendant structures, we mean lighting, curbing, stormwater infrastructure underneath the parking lot, dumpster enclosure, dog run, okay. the things that you see on the plan. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's one non-conforming sure. use to another non-conforming use. <clears throat> You're just altering the conformity, like the transformers did. <laughs> Tell me again, where's that pool or where that pool? Yeah, sure. Pool, if you don't mind me drawing in yours, okay. the pool is right here. Okay. And we're just digging over it. Right. <laughs> digging it out, paving it over. That's it. Does any, anyone else have any comments? Well, I, I think it, it um, I, I don't have any problem with it. Uh, it's a change from a swimming pool to a parking lot. Um, it's, it's really sort of a, a strange, uh, unu not unusual, but a technical issue based, uh, like, like Attorney Reedy said about the, the change of the, the uses um, you know that it's a business that you're not supposed because I guess at one at some point, you know, business was higher intensity than than residential, so you could always do like residential in a business, but you couldn't do business in a residential. Like it was like a mm -hmm. like he called it a waterfall, mm -hmm. and so now. But I think the concern is that you don't want to have business business zoned areas to be converted to residential areas because then we run out of business areas if people start building houses in them. So uh, that, that's the change that's happened. So it's really an issue about that, that you have a pre-existing use of a, of a business property. We, we had something kind of similar to this on the, um, with the solar panels on, on, in the industrial zone, because mm. it was using it for something that was not uh, industrial. So it was kind of a similar concept. Mm -hmm. um, but so, it, I, I mean, using a parking lot as a, an accessory to, uh, to apartments, uh, I don't see how that would. That's no. It's no more de substantially more detrimental than any, than the existing non-conforming use of the pool for an accessory uh, to, to the uh, to the structures. Mm -hmm. uh, so. I agree. <laughs> yep. I don't see the problem. It's straightforward. So. Um, 
Want to make a motion? Oh, good. <laughs> I remember that. So, that, that. so that's the finding there that we're looking at. We find that the request to change, extension, and alteration um, of the uh, non-performing uses by redeveloping the property as shown in the plan is not substantially more detrimental than any existing non-conforming uses. So. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Thanks very much. Thank you. Get the guys in for 7:30, okay? <laughs> Where we can do the sign that sooner rather than later, just to get that appeal period okay. started. That would be fantastic. Mr. Chair, oh yeah, can I just yeah? So what I do is can we sign? Can we sign this right now? Yeah. If you want to, you yeah. certainly can. And then we got to get a, I'll get it stamped in first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah, we just have to fill in who, because I didn't know, I didn't think John was going to be here, so I wanted to make sure to leave a blank and then, like I said, I just mimicked what the finding was for Barry's Harbor Freight. That swimming pool, it's a good thing it's going. <laughs> Oh, yep, yeah. so, um, no, the business will, will adjourn the meeting.